You know what? Fuck it. Let's try to kill this thing. Just one time. You gotta be very careful with the timing here. Because, uh, I don't know if it's iframes, but he will not get staggered if you hit him as he's getting up. You can see his arms ragdolling adorably. And you really don't want him to get away, not just because he can, uh, attack you, but more importantly, he can call for help, and that will really fuck you over. I believe that's it. As you can see, these things individually are not really that hard to kill. But I don't know if that's necessarily a sign that we're safe, because there's probably a few more down here. Yeah, I guess we'll go in here, why not? Ah, my memory is like something with a great many small holes. We shall be needing to perform some minor things. Holy shit. Might one day meet again. For this task, we shall require the use of a large earth eating battle monster. And that monster is thoroughly for produce from the place where we can for his <gasps> oh. <laughs> I'm really surprised it caught us immediately. Let me go back, make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think there's anything this way. Auxiliary shaft. Okay, so there is something over here, gotcha. Ah, uh, my memory is like something with a great many small holes. Me too. <laughs> Meet again. This is our first time, though. I love the way he talks. All right, Mr. Fancy Pants. Let's go this way. Wait. You can see me? The fuck? I'm in the darkness. I guess it is a dog. You can hide in there too. For safety, if you so desire. Tool shed, I guess we'll go this way. Thank God for these amazing signs. What would I do without them? Alright, tool shed. Xeno reports. Yeah, they're just investigating all kinds of weird rocks. If you want to read it, there you go. I already know the plot, so... Uh, I don't really have any reason to read those myself. To be honest. Narration between levels is one thing, but... I mean, that thing is heavy. I'm not gonna read the notes, because they, they actually take a while. And in this game, the worm enemies are actually like the primary antagonist, pretty much. More so than the turn game, which don't even make an appearance until... Black Plague. Right, what's this say? I guess we'll make it a right turn, then. Oh, shit. There's something right there. And we're locked in. Those holes in my mind are increasingly gaping. 
You cannot breach the inner sanctum of the place of storing. The entryway is blocked. So I wanted to squash your material between my ears and squash you the most. I may not be perfect like a hanging picture, but my words are wise and backed up by time. A pox! A pox on both your brain cells! Try as I may, you must think that I deceive you with my admittingly cunning ways. Where are you talking? As far as my eyes uh -oh. have seen, our rocky grave extends, and there to cast away my health like you would a puppy, freshly ruled in its own feces. I hope that your warm sense of morality is better company than I, because now it is all you hear. Yeah, this part has always confused me, because it's like, what the fuck did I do, Red? Are you just off your meds, or what? I'm sorry. Sometimes my emotions are like a disobedient, uncontrollable, and often rolling in this shit. Better safe than sorry, they say. But I think we are both sorrier than we are safe. A ton of life between the nearby one. I guess I'll go back to the other area. Take the second right from the closed door, and you will find what you see. All right then, buddy. Excavation. Is this where we were before? No, it is not. It's very spooky. Piercing white light, still not enough to illuminate the whole room. If only we can move it. If only we can move it. Yeah, that's good, because I don't know if I'd be able to find out on my own otherwise. Dank looking hole up there. Dank is such a funny word. Thank you, Internet, for ruining that word. It looks like some kind of excavation, although not like any mining operation I've seen. I don't know where that mist is coming from. I don't fancy getting any closer to find out. So maybe that this is where the virus comes from? It's been hiding under the ground for who knows how long. See. Yeah, there's like hallucinogenics on the rocks and kind of gas. The man's still clutching, still looking. For what? Before him lies a metal, jutting awkward from earth. A hatch, a portal, a hole, a door, unfamiliar text. Who are these figures huddled around? What secrets are hidden behind the faces of men? I felt something that time that I didn't feel before, and I'm sure it's always been there. It's as if a small part of me is still trapped inside the artifact. This could have been damaged when I got the power on, maybe. What? I was going to say, I shouldn't be attacked up here. What the fuck? How am I gonna... Okay, so I believe how this works is... We're just gonna... Try to move this box around here. Maybe I can get it, like, to turn horizontally. Or vertically. I don't know, it's awkward. There's no turn feature. We bring one of these boxes up here. And we do it like this. Is that high enough? Oh, it might actually be. I don't know how this is going to connect, but... See how this works. I need to get pretty high up. There we go. <laughs> Apparently we climbed up even though we literally fell. And oh god, this fucking part. My god, nothing lays eggs that big. They're leathery, so can't be mammalian, more like amphibious or insectoid. I really don't like the way they are moving. In fact, these things react to the light. Oh, Jesus. i close this shit immediately. I hope these came from an animal, but I have my suspicions. I need to get out of here. Yeah, the glow stick doesn't do anything to persuade the spiders to go away. I'm not sure where to go, actually. Go away! 
You guys should hate this. Now you should find yourself in the watering game of conversation space. With a tunnel of obstacles from time to head. In this tunnel for both of sake, be careful, not curious. I have already spoken to you about the cat, and repeating myself is not only out of the question, but out of the window and climbing down the gutter. There are spiders in the tunnels that love to suck on the human. Yeah, no forest. shit. So do not disturb the walls. They are fragile like the China base. Okay, this isn't nearly as hard as I remember it being, though. Well, these cobwebs are not doing me any favors! Uh. Get me the hell out of here! Uh, what even is that material? How did it even get in this little tunnel? Well then. Ow. Fucking rude. Let's try that again. Oh, I'm out of... Here, here's this. Eat a dick. I don't know if that was worth it, that blast radius. Yeah, I might as well kill myself. There's no way I'm beating that fucking rock now. Wait, maybe. Oh, it's stuck. Apparently I can't move the rock. It's impossible. Whatever, don't get too comfortable, booty. Looks like they're too scared of me now. Now, how am I gonna avoid this fucking boulder? That is the question. Maybe I'll just I'll try to run. Don't turn around. I'll try. Okay, yeah. Maybe I can jump to get down faster. <sighs> My pickaxe is up to digging through this rubble. I'm a dead man. Uh oh. Feels like it's closing in on me. I gotta get out right now. Alright. We are in the clear, bitches. We are in the clear. Even though it sounds like we broke our own leg. Ah, uh, yes. Civilization. Technology. There should be some insect repellent in that red... Fuck you. Oh, you, <laughs> oh, you fucking troll. Go juice. I love this guy's personality. See, Inuit mythology, Christian foresight. Legends speaking of disembodied spirits, malicious in nature. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of Amnesia Rebirth, actually, with the way they're talking about demons. It is capable of possession and countless other atrocities. really believe in possessions and evil spirits. I thought that was the whole point of being Christians, believing in possession. Okay, now how did this work? And this should go over to the left. Man, look at how fucking janky that is. Okay, maybe I should move this box a little bit further down. 
so close. This is good enough. <sighs> Perfect. It's so peaceful to get that music after that uh, little sequence with the spiders. I'm not sure how many of these places are actually necessary to explore. Well, there's a couple useless bonus mains around here. According to Red, I just need to find a key as well. It should be somewhere around here in this area. Okay, then. How long can this have been running for? It's a good question. Oh, let's try that again. Got it. Sort of. Kind of. This almost looks like camouflage texture on here. And we're done there. I can't possibly go back up there with those things. I don't blame you there. But can we actually break this anyway? That'd be interesting. Yeah! I don't give a fuck if it's unnecessary. I came to chew ass and kick bubble gum. Okay. Whole installation is just falling apart. Yep. Look at all this fucking garbage. It's disgusting. Is there something in here? Oh. Well, that is something. Lots of equipment, but useless. How do you know that? Perhaps it's not. That takes us back there, okay. Ah, how convenient. Large key, anything else in here? I feel certain that the key in gasoline is what Red is referring to. Now this is important. I remember being stuck on this part for a really long time back in the day. This is the only this is the only part that does this. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the I'm gonna go to the quote unquote mining monster and see if there's any way I could have figured it out on my own. Because <laughs> admittedly, way back in the day, this is a part I cheated at to progress. I guess that does not. It goes nowhere. Alright then. So we should be done. Now, where does this drop us off at? Excavation. Tool shed. Ah, fuck. Oh, he didn't catch me? That dog is fucking dumb. I guess we'll try to go back the way we came, then. Yeah, it's a good dog. You go that way. Uh, okay, how do I want to deal with this? So will probably see me from there. I have so much beef jerky, I might as well do that. That thing is fucking pissed. And that could be like an opportunity to hit it for free. If you really want to. Although, if you can get the drop on him, which is pretty easy because they don't really seem to have much of a hearing range. You can just sneak up behind him and just hit him with the pickaxe or hammer or whatever you happen to have. 
If we get caught, we can try to hide in here for safety. There's no way those dogs can break in here, right? No fucking way. That would be impossible. Okay, excavation and tool shed. Try going this way. Any dogs? It's been really chill so far. Huh. So I guess we went into a circle? So me going through there was actually totally unnecessary. Don't you dare run. Just hoping this thing is completely oh shit. And that's what happens when you don't kill it. <sighs> okay. Okay, and that's storage. The iron mines. So I am there. Excavation leads there. So I guess maybe we'll go to the, the tool shed. No, that can't be right. Let's try the auxiliary shaft. So we'll go there, make a right. And just keep making right turns, basically, is what I get out of this. My memory's not the best. I'm not entirely sure where we have and haven't been. So we may or may not be going in circles here. Oh, wait, yeah, I got a uh, shit. I avoid its gaze. I believe we can't equip the meat actually because then it will smell us. It's actually a really good detail. Come on, Philip, you can't even really see it. You're being a pussy. Maybe I can use the saw to get through here. There we go. Wait. I can use this defensively. Yes. Sort of. Kinda helps. Eat a dick, dog. Oh no, it's not over yet. Okay, where are you going, pal? Right, don't bother me, I'm looking at the map. Now, let's see, I am there on the right. I guess I'll follow this path up. I mean, why the hell not? Ugh, thank God for this box, though. How convenient. Shit, there's two of them?
Oh shit. Come on. Oh. I do have some painkillers though. This area must be the access point to the mine. Okay, now I believe I gotta plug this in here. Or maybe here. Ah, into both, I see. Not, now that's quite a machine. It doesn't come any more industrial size than that. Those teeth at the front look pretty sharp. The whole thing just looks mean. The lid on the gas can is rusted shut. I better have something that can get it open or I'll be down here for a long time. Okay, thankfully that red aura went away, but yeah, here's the thing that kept me stuck. See that hammer? Now the lid's off. Yeah, I never figured that out on my own. I was super confused down here. Anyway, I believe we used the key here. Hearing that digger finally running is reassuring. Well, yeah. I believe that's it. <clears throat> Man, you're a badass. They don't fuck with red. I haven't even... I haven't even used these flares once. Maybe we'll get to the next area I can try. Just for the sake of like, showing off how it works. There isn't really any reason to use the flares. Because uh, you already have a flashlight. But it does look cool. Maybe you can use it to distract enemies. I never thought to use it like that. It seems so strange now. And do I have been guided like a blind man by a faceless stranger whose sanity was clearly waning. Disposition unknown. For all I knew, this red didn't have a disposition... A disposition to speak of, just a seething mass of conflicting emotions. I knew that my radio reliant friend must have been cocooned nearby, and perhaps in finding him, I would find myself one step closer to understanding what was going on. Oh no. Oh no, this part. It's like an opening into hell. I've never been down this far before. Yeah, as scary as it would be. I would love to actually go down into a, a proper mine or a proper cave. Uh, when I went up in Georgia a couple days ago, they had this tourist attraction. Oh. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Can I get there in time? <sighs> I remember the first time I went through here. I couldn't even tell that was a worm. I thought that was like some kind of giant lizard because I only saw the the tail end of it. But yeah, so they had this tourist attraction down in the mines. I think I'm going to post some pictures on Twitter later when I decide to not be lazy. It's easier said than done. It's probably electrical. It must be my imagination, but it feels like a warm air down there. Yeah, look at that weird purple fog. Yeah, so it was a very linear path, unfortunately. We were totally commanded by the... The tourist guy. He took us... Through the whole thing. There wasn't really a lot of deviating paths. Not that he would let us go down them anyway. Hey. Are you dead? Maybe I need a pickaxe. Okay, it looks like two hits is enough. Can I really not close this? Huh. I would like it to be a little bit more secure than that. 
And this is a mechanic they kind of introduce or they try to introduce in this game, but it doesn't really end up mattering that much. The fact that you can, like, put objects in front of doorways. Like, it's not really that useful in Amnesia. It's not really useful in this game. It's just kind of there. No items. I guess we're just gonna flip the switch and fucking book it. No time to fuck around, boys. How fucking mad are you that you can't get me with this light? We'll give you a lot of time to get over here. I even have to, like, scare away the spider again. Trembling tootsies. It sounds like a candy. Yeah, I would also hate to die. Dying kind of sucks, bro. You know, if I do have any criticism at this game, it's like I really wish there was more enemy variety. I mean, it does okay, but it's pretty much just wolves and spiders, and the occasional worm. There was this enemy they were, they were apparently thinking about putting in the game. <coughs> it's called a hunter, but for whatever reason they decided to cut it. It looked cool. It was basically like a crawling four-legged version of the turn gate. Some bits and pieces not worth digging through. And that's it. Nothing else here. And speaking of which, uh, speaking of hard mode, yeah, so I actually have been playing Amnesia the Dark Descent on hard mode. Need a security door. I need the code. Uh, where am I going to get that? Uh, well, obviously, there's some evil shit here. That's why there's so many precautions. And hopefully that's it. I don't have to worry about anything else. But time will tell on that one. Yeah, so out of curiosity's sake, I decided to play Amnesia the Dark Descent on hard mode, which was something they added, I believe, a few years ago. Guess I'll go right, then up and left. Oh no. Or maybe not. Okay, how far forward you going, buddy? Okay, not that far forward. Okay. Fuck you. Yeah, go cry. Run and cry to your mama. And you are one fucked up looking dog. You look like you got a dick for a tail. <laughs> now hopefully I don't run into another dog as I'm uh, pushing you forward. That would be kind of awkward. I can try to get in a couple extra attacks because maybe it still counts. Okay, we're good, we're good. Let's see. Shaft 17, or 12 rather. So like normally this would be the halfway point, so we're a lot closer than I thought I'd be. Must be locked from the other side. Oh, that's just fucking great, bruh. <clears throat> so shaft 12 is out of the question. Maybe the refinery or shaft 13? I'll go down, make left. Yeah, there'll probably be signs. It's fine. There's probably at least one other dog down here. Yep. Okay. Now, 
can I bait this thing over? Fuck. Please don't turn to the side. I'm trying to predict where it's gonna turn, guys, okay? Now what I can do... Let's push this in. I'll hopefully have plenty of time to... run over and turn on the steam. Okay, it hasn't smelt the bait yet. Yeah, as I was saying, I can get fucking distracted, booty, please. And these of the Dark Descent on hard mode is actually kind of tedious. I don't really like it that much. Like, uh, it does add a little bit more tension to the, the base gameplay of Amnesia, but... For some reason, they decided to tie the saving mechanic to the tinderbox count. Like, it costs tinderboxes to use it. It's really fucking dumb. You really gonna do me dirty like this, dog? Come on, now. Fine, I'll just ignore you. But don't you dare turn around or I'm gonna be pissed. Alright, please open. Thankfully, an open door. <coughs> oh no, this part. This part's awkward. This first part's not so bad. Wait, how do I turn this on? Maybe I gotta, like, flip a switch first. Yeah, that's where all the, the rock is collected. I could have sworn I'd be able to turn this. Wait a minute. Did I just figure it out? Okay, that's fucking weird. It's not showing the hand icon it's supposed to. Maybe it's a bug. Yeah, you gotta try to figure out which button does what. It's gonna be a hell of a lot more awkward than normal. Okay, so this middle button doesn't appear to do anything. Oh, okay. Thankfully, me herping and derping solved the puzzle. Yeah, this thing is trying really fucking hard to fight me on this. I'm certain most people wouldn't want to get any closer to this machine than read the instructions. Understandable. Yeah, so interestingly enough, in Amnesia, on hard mode, it actually makes it so that you die when your sanity gets low. But that, that only happened to me one time in the entire playthrough. I have no idea what you just said, dude, but yeah, right on, bruh. And this is the part where it gets awkward, because you gotta, like, work with the physics and try to... build a little ladder thing, kind of. Staircase that leads up. But the thing is, your weight will regularly fight to, uh, like, push these barrels down. It's really annoying. See if I can do this properly. Cause like ideally I want to get the stuff to stand up, but I don't know. Maybe if I could like hit it against the wall in a certain way. Yeah, like that. Push this forward, hopefully. 
give me time. Alright. Let me brace myself, because this could be very annoying. Ah, oh, fuck. So close. Maybe I need just one rock to get me up there. No, please don't. Don't you fucking dare fall on me. It's fighting. It's fighting really hard to fall. Maybe there's like an easier way to do this than I am aware of. But I've played this game a hundred times and I've yet to find an ulterior method. Thank god these are not realistic physics, or that would never fucking work. This looks precarious. Maybe I can knock it down. Well, of course. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Maybe I got lucky. I believe we put that there, and it should show up on the other side. And, hmm. Oh, wait, yeah. Maybe I can use a rock to, like, block this up. <laughs> maybe a barrel. Okay, that worked out. We can use this to block up the fan. In retrospect, the puzzles in this game are not actually that hard. Because I remember in high school, these puzzles were annoying, and it always intimidated me to, like, go back and play this game, because I'm like, man, I don't want to have to, like, relearn the Morse code puzzle, but it's actually really simplistic in retrospect. I usually try to avoid playing, uh puzzle type games, unless they're easy. So I'm not very good at them. What, you want me to suck your dick? Well, I'm not gonna donate you my arm. Sure. Now this part is actually kind of complicated. I gotta pay a lot of attention. Try hard mode. So... Okay, so this is gonna go up one at a time. You gotta remember exactly where it is. It's a memory game, pretty much. You start off there. Then you go up. Then you go right. Then down. Then up. Don't get too close to the edge. Okay, we get it, we get it. Aha, I see you. Get out of my way, barrel. Now, is that progress? I believe it actually is. But let's see. Oh. Well, now I'm just fucking confused. I don't know where to go. I guess we'll go down here. Maybe we'll get a nice bonus document or something. I like that metal rumbling. It's disturbing. Alright, I don't know where this is gonna plop us, but there you go. Oh, okay. This is like... I believe this is Shaft 12. There's something blocking this. 
And now, well, I probably don't want to get into it. As fun as that would be, it would probably kill me. Because this thing's got a job to do. It's going to fuck some shit up. Way to go. Way to go. And this is where you get a nice shot of the, the worm creature. Yeah, I've yet to suffer from low batteries whatsoever. It's crazy. This is hard mode, too. I guess we'll save. A coher, a man with no name. It is he who opens this gateway to hell. A grin on his face. He is terrible indeed. He watches the men wreathe and turn. Still, Father looks on something vital in his hand. I suppose I can trust these things a bit more. I'm not dead yet. Still, they must have a purpose. What could it be? And this is where you get to learn about they're doing experiments on the worms, I believe. And they end up getting stuck. I know there's a note like that somewhere in here. Or maybe this is just information what they are. Analid. Some species of analid. Never heard that word before. 60s a microscope. Man, modern ones don't look too different, do they? Old newspaper. Statistics and crude drawings. They all relate to a large species of analid. Nothing in there. The key is in the lock. Maybe this? Oh yeah. I can put this down, push it under. That's kinda... That's interesting. What, what dumb asshole only put it in halfway. Oh yeah, that's reassuring. And no, unfortunately you can't go down there. That would be... Very interesting though, 100%. It's an artificial habitat, and those things look long dead. I think I know how they felt not being able to get out. Oh, do ya? These things are mindless killing machines, don't you know? They're, they're basically oversized maggots. It's fucking disgusting. They probably made this blood stain. Whatever happened in here, someone must have been in a great deal of pain. Oh, really? Accept this sacrifice, noble worm beast, demon god thing. Blood and slime everywhere. Is there anything in here? And I don't see many skink lizards hanging about. What the fuck is a skink lizard? Oh yeah, I love this shit. So much death and disease down here. I suppose slugs were an inevitability. Wow, green blood slugs. You know, green blood isn't really something you see very more, very often anymore, is it? And this is cool. You just get, like, these little jars of maybe embryos. I don't know what the fuck else it could be. It's kind of shaped like an embryo. Uh, finally some writing paper. And this, this is funny. Just some random asshole comes over, starts writing on it. He's like, oh man, he's super fucked. And that professor guy is full of shit. Or something like that. He's wrong. They have no sense of smell. Today I attempted to distract them with a concoction I found lying around, but to no avail. Three days in county. That's a really short lifespan, Jesus. I kind of wish these giant slug things made more of an appearance in the Frictional Games library. Yeah, this is a great moment. I love this. Let's see. He left the blood is deep. So... Cola de devour. DEVOUR! Blood only lonely. I have no idea what it says. There's writing scribbled everywhere. Must be an ultraviolet ink. Definitely the product of a deranged mind, but whose? And I remember the first time I came up to this, for some reason I assumed it was reds, even though it was clearly a 
different character entirely. Now, I think there's something... Can we break this? Uh, nah, this is a mortal glass. That apparently explodes into orange chunks when you hit it. But, uh, this is a more subtle kind of jump scare. I love these kind of jump scares where you're like, Whoa, wait, what the fuck is going down? It's more disturbing than it is like, Oh my god, my heart. Oh. Just like you die, and just like you die, he must ingest the living flesh of those less fortunate. There is a small place that I do not want you to visit, even on your holidays, because it's dark. I would never come here on my holiday. Come on now. When the darkness has overwhelmed my small decaying mind, some bad things have flowed from my mind. Eric knew not. This thing is actually a lot of fun to play with. Okay, I can't tell if this is actually surrounded. Oh, it's actually open. That's cool. A goodbye lizard or leech thing. I could have sworn there was something else to do in here, but maybe not. Maybe I already picked it up. Admittingly, I took a couple hour break while ago. Yeah, I guess we're done. I guess we're done. We can come back here, worst case scenario. So I'm thinking, since I did take a break so long ago, I might as well explore this area a little bit more before I call it. Okay. Where have we not been? I guess we'll go to shaft 13. And the fastest way there would be... Oh man, this is a confusing ass map. We can go like back. And then make... Okay, so I'll go down there and make a left turn. And then keep going down and go to my second left. Should be easy, right? Left. They have a ton of map. Oh shit. Yeah, I was gonna say they have a lot of maps here. Oh god. Oh no. Oh fuck, it's coming over here. What the fuck? This thing is on my ass. Okay, let's try going this way. So I believe shaft 13 is somewhere this way. Yeah, yeah, I can just go this way. And we are safe. Assuming this is... Alright, cool, it's not locked. More of those tunnels, I know what that means. I better not stick around here too long. I might actually have to go there. Maybe. Those rocks look loose. They're more likely to bury me alive. This totally looks like you can push this out of the way. Come on, Philip. Grow some fucking balls. Uh, I guess I'll put dynamite on here. And maybe I can throw it at the eggs. Oh shit. Why is this place trying to kill me? Ugh, I've got to get a grip.
can't tell if that's just background sound or there's actually something down here with me. Piss off. Yeah, I'm like fucking Wilfred. Dude. What part of piss off do you not understand, bitch? You know what? Whoa! You guys are- oh. Oh yeah, it only works with the flashlight. I was gonna say. This is how I can easily switch. So, just for curiosity's sake. I don't know if this is a dead end. It might be a death trap. Yeah, these things seem to have iframes. Okay. Let's just go to the left side. I think that would be a pretty damn good idea. We can try to get out as fast as possible. Okay, so that does not kill the spiders. That only spawns them. So I kind of fucked myself with that play. Dude, hate the light. Okay, MLG dodge. Let's go. Get back. Get back, beast. Work as programmed. <sighs> Ugh, three hits. I gotta cover this bitch up. Quickly, I need a fucking rock or something. Gotta block their pathing. Oh no, that rock is way too epic, too large for me. I don't think that's adequate enough. Aha, finally. If this doesn't fucking block him, I don't know what will. Okay. I think we are good. Nineteen seventy-two, and yeah, basically, whole thing was falling apart. People are like trying to survive in these little rooms, not really working out. I'm surprised it didn't really take any damage. I wonder if they respond to the the beef jerky. Yeah, those things will stubbornly try to get at me as much as possible. Maybe, if these things are locked, I can, like, smash them open. Ooh, shoes. How fabulous. Now, I wish we could use that kind of helmet in this area. That'd be fun. A blank note. Save for the smears of dirt. Okay, what good is that? Maybe it has something to do with that ultra light room? I don't know. Shade browner than it should be. Agreed. Well, that's kind of dark. Wouldn't you want their body to be as peaceful as possible? And wow, this rock is actually fucking massive. I'm a lot bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, it might have been a route to the surface. I guess we're done here. We can just leave, hopefully.